Trey Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trey Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, for Playing Trey Guitars, I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Playing Trey Guitars, where we play it and trade it. At the top, make sure you're subscribed. We're giving away that beautiful Gibson Custom Shop Green Top Les Paul. Gleam entry link down in the description. And today we're talking about a brand new release from Epiphone and Gibson. This is a pair of guitars celebrating Noel Gallagher and Oasis. I'm super excited to unbox, talk specs, plug in and play the Noel Gallagher Riviera from Epiphone. We're gonna unbox it right now. I'm super, super pumped. This was just announced. If you're shopping and you're in the market for the Noel Gallagher Epiphone Riviera, the Zounds link is down in the description. You can buy it directly. Helps us out of playing Trey Guitars. We partnered with Zounds to bring you the best new guitars, and we're gonna give you an unbiased review and demo of this beauty. Let you know if it's right for you. You decide, drop a comment as we go. Let's, uh, let's get this out of the box and get to work. It's great to see a hard shell case coming out of an Epiphone shipping box. That is always a nice plus. Epiphone has upped their game. And as we say all the time, Epiphone is making probably the best guitars they've made in years and years and years. But first, let's get a glimpse at the Noel Gallagher Riviera. Oh my goodness. They actually went through painstaking lengths to copy this deep wine red color from his actual uh, Riviera that he recorded most of, uh, uh, what's the story, Morning Glory. Uh, most of the album was tracked, the rhythm guitar was this guitar. And they went through great lengths to actually get a lot of historical points correct that we'll talk about on the bench from the headstock to the uh, Epsilon E on the truss rod cover and the pick guard cover. Uh, great pair of pickups that we'll talk about, but bringing this out of the case, wow. This is uh, basically Epiphone's take on a 335. The Sheridan was introduced in 1958. The Casino was popularized by the Beatles, but today we're talking about the Riviera, which came out in 1962 and is directly comparable to the Gibson 335 because it's semi-hollow. That means we have a wood block through the center, semi-hollow body with two classic F-holes. I love the touch of these witch hat knobs, which look really sweet. Uh, we have an Indian Laurel fretboard, 22 frets, nice binding on the body and the neck as well. This big, exaggerated, uh, voluptuous Epiphone headstock, which is actually correct for the period. If you look at the original 1962 Epiphone Riviera, you will see that. And uh, this is really kind of an unsung hero of the trio of Epiphone, semi-hollow, and hollow body guitars. Yes, the casino gets all the credit and love uh, with the Beatles, and uh, that Sheraton is beautiful too, but the Riviera is one that is really worth checking out, and I'm really glad that Noel Gallagher Playing it all those years on those albums uh, has worked with Gibson and Epiphone to get these out as an artist series. Super cool. Signature on the back here, probably the sloppiest signature I've ever seen in my life, but that is the Noel Gallagher signature on the back. This is really cool. How often do you see a volute on a guitar? But yeah, I mean, What's the Story, Morning Glory, one of the all-time greatest albums of all time, and much of the rhythm guitar was tracked by Noel with his Riviera, and this is about as close as you can get. Super cool guitars, and regardless of the association with Noel and Oasis, the cool thing is this is, like I said, a directly comparable guitar to a Gibson 335, and the price point is $899 with the hard shell case. So if you're in the market for this guitar because of Oasis and the Noel Gallagher connection, obviously that makes sense, but if you're looking for a super cool 335 style guitar to add to your arsenal, add to your lineup, $899 is gonna be hard to beat, but we're gonna bench test that. We're gonna plug it in and play it and see if it's worth your money and time. Drop a comment as we go and let's pull this thing apart on the bench and get to work. So we've got this beautiful vintage style Epiphone inlaid logo with, like I said, that exaggerated kind of curvaceous headstock, which is correct for the Riviera. We have the Epsilon E also for Epiphone here. Graftech nut, Indian Laurel fretboard bound, 22 frets. Now you'll notice, this is super cool. This was actually on the Riviera. Parallelogram, try to say that three times fast. Parallelogram inlays, uh, which is super cool. And as I told you, there were basically three semi-hollow and hollow body epiphones that kind of the world looks at, right? It's the Sheridan, which is kind of the souped up 
uh, kind of like the Les Paul Custom to the Les Paul had a lot of beautiful appointments to it. The Riviera is a little more stripped down in terms of the cosmetic appointments, but it has, importantly, the center block just like a Gibson 335. So this is a semi-hollow guitar compared to the Casino, which is also looked at so commonly because of the association with the Beatles, which is a fully hollow guitar. So the Casino would be directly comparable to a Gibson 330, while this guitar, the Riviera, would be directly comparable to a Gibson 335. That's where kind of the bells go off for me, the ding, 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 because if you want a 335, it's going to cost you. But if you want a 335 because of what you can do with those beautiful tones, the textures in a recording or a live situation, Noel Gallagher and Oasis, all great, but this might be the 335 that is perfect for your collection at this price point. Um, as we come down and look at this deep wine red, like I was telling you, they really tried to copy Noel's guitar exactly, his Riviera that he has. Um, we have kind of a hybrid ABR1 Nashville style bridge, chrome stop piece, these witch hat knobs. We have classic volume, volume, tone, tone. I love the look of these, super cool. Kind of like Fender amp knobs. Uh, from like a 70s silver face or something. Uh, ivory tip on the three-way selector switch. Uh, bright white pickguard, which I looks, which I think looks super sharp against the red with the Epsilon E. And uh, classic F-holes, true F-holes, semi-hollow construction, binding, and then that wine red continuing on the back and up the neck. And we have a five-ply maple body, so it's gonna be um, uh, pressure-treated, curved form to be that 335 shape, uh, Riviera shape. And then the neck, you can actually see the seams. It's a three-piece maple neck. Uh, maple is also talked about because it's more stable across many climates. And it, when you have the ply material, plus you have the three-piece maple neck, you're gonna get that, sna that snappy maple sound. But it'll also stand up over time. And they've reinforced the headstock with the volute, which is a really cool feature. I wish you saw more often across Gibson and Epiphone. But I always thought the volute was a cool touch, and it's there to reinforce the headstock construction. Uh, these pretty cool nifty Epiphone tuners with the Epsilon E again, and then uh, Noel Gallagher's signature and a couple inspection marks handcrafted in China. Like I said, probably the worst signature I've seen, but it is his signature, so it's on the guitar. And uh, yeah, Indian Laurel, so very closely related to Rosewood. And other than that, why don't we loosen up the strings and we'll get kind of under the hood, get some neck measurements, pick up readings, talk electronics, and then our last step, plug it in and play it, of course. You decide, is this guitar right for your collection? Drop a comment and let us know what you think. But we're super excited about this guitar. Let me loosen these strings and we'll get to it. It's described as a slim taper neck, so we'll get actual measurements here. We've got a 1.68 inch standard size nut, 0.78, that's pretty skinny, up to 0.88 at the 12th fret. We're looking at 1.8 inches on this ES style guitar. ES standing for electric Spanish. Why? Well, because until the standard for playing electric guitar was like this, there was a time when it was in competition with playing like this, lap steel and the like. And ES, when the model came out, when Gibson introduced it, and when Epiphone was making these guitars, ES stood for electric Spanish. It was the electrified Spanish style guitar that you play right-handed with left-handing fret, and uh, that's where ES comes from, and even to this day, it's stuck. Originally, it was super interesting, the Riviera actually shipped with mini humbuckers, just like you'd find on the Les Paul Deluxe models and the Firebird. And then, as I flip these pickups up, we're looking at a set of El Nico Classic Pro pickups, which are El Nico 5 magnets. Get a look at the maple and inner construction. You can see the center block running up and about, well, through and then interrupted a bit for this chambering. Looking at 7.8 ohms on the bridge, 7.5 in the neck, 3.8 combined in middle position. With string tension back on, we'll pick it up, get our first insights into the feel of this guitar straight out of the box. So this is from Zounds. We unboxed it, we've got it here on the bench, and this is gonna be the straight take. It's kind of a hybrid. It's acoustic and it's electric. It's a joy to play. 
Uh, setup is perfect out of the box. I don't see any cosmetic flaws on the guitar. Action is nice. It's not too low, it's not too high, perfect medium. 335 is great because, I mean, kind of like an SG, it has that double cutaway or a Les Paul special double cutaway like we featured. Um, it's accessible, it's easy to get up here. Uh, just a hair over eight and a half pounds. So we're looking at eight and a half pounds on this. If you're shopping for it, check our Zounds link in the description. Let's head over and plug it in and play. Oh. It's a cool guitar. Let's check out some DI clean tones. So we're just gonna listen to these pickups totally clean, uh, straight in to the recording rig. So let's check out the bridge pickup first. Lots of body, lots of resonance, but a good snap to it. Remember that this is all maple guitar, so a lot of the Gibson or Epiphone guitars you think of as those kind of mahogany tone monsters, this is a guitar that's completely maple, so five-ply maple body with a three-piece maple neck. So you're getting a little bit of snap with that semi-hollow tone. That's why I actually think sometimes you can get a 335 tone from a Tele. Um, but in your guitar arsenal, there's always room for a 335 style guitar. The Riviera is exactly that. So let's get the track going. Let's pump it through a Marshall JCM 800. Let it sing a little bit and see how it sounds in the mix.
All right, rocking the Noel Gallagher, brand new from Epiphone, uh, Riviera. Beautiful guitar, the Riviera, originally introduced in 1962. Now this brand new artist series guitar from Epiphone in collaboration with Noel Gallagher of Oasis brings you a 335 style semi-hollow guitar at an $899 price point with a hard shell case. Awesome appointments, beautiful kind of vintage vibe. I love the Epsilon E the Epiphone logo. I love the semi-hollow maple sound, that bright but kind of full woody tone that everybody should have in their collection. And you can buy one, they're available now. Check out the Zounds link in our description. You can buy it directly. We partner with Zounds. You help us on playing trade guitars when you buy through Zounds. We help Zounds. We get the word out together and build the community. You can also subscribe to win our Green Top Les Paul that we're giving away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. I really enjoyed showing you this guitar. At the end of the day, bring us questions, bring us anything. We want to bring you an honest take, an honest review. Take apart the guitar, show you how to play it, show you what we do with it, and then you tell us what you're going to do with it. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for checking out our video. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, check out the Gibson Custom Shop 355 Noel Gallagher guitar on our channel. See you guys soon.